Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. I think I'm too far away again. I've been like, I've been messing with the mic arm too much lately. I need to just put it in a position and leave it. The problem is that I keep changing how I sit. And if I have it down here where it is right now, I end up not being able to see my computer screen all the way if I'm sitting uh, up. But then sometimes I lean back and then I need to move it forward and it's a whole thing. Anyway. Thank you for joining me. It is, as you can probably tell by the way that I sound, three in the morning. I am tired. I've been really tired lately. But it's, it's not like I'm tired because I'm not sleeping enough, although I am not sleeping as much as I would normally. I'm more tired just because I'm doing so much school stuff lately. It's it's We're to the end of it, but the last few days have been pretty rough. I can definitely feel the decline of uh, it's like the runs of monster train have been worse the streams have been lower energy it's very difficult because you know randomly four of my or randomly three of my professors all decided we were having something due on february 23rd and it's like oh yeah well that sucks that's a real shame isn't it it's like there's no no way they can know and teach a bunch of different students. I mean, eventually there's going to be an inevitable overlaps, but like, man, this is a tough weekend. We're there, though. It's like we made it. Big physics projects are done. Physics quiz is done. Homework is done. Had a big group meeting with my uh, software engineering group, too. I talked to people in my class for the first time in a very long time. I mean, for the first time ever. Crazy. I spoke with other people that weren't like the same four people I've talked to, to since uh, the beginning of time. It was strange. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Hope you're not uh, too too bad off out there. Hope you're hanging in there. Today would be Tuesday for you. Let's get to it, shall we? Don't forget to like the video, comment the video, subscribe as well to the video. I really, really hope that we get to see Brawler. I don't even know if it's good here, but I want it. And so I'm going to look for it. It's really bad here, but... I really want it. When you give me Hellhorned Exile Awoken, I'm going to play Brawler just because I think it's fun. It's not something I get to do very often. Double Barrel Daedalus, Shadow Arcus, Saf, Seraph, Hornbreak, Restoration, Detonation, Impressive. It's bad because we don't have anything to buff our attack. I'm going to take Resonant Shard. Over Vapor Funnel, you're thinking? Yeah, I think Rage is going to play a big part of this run. There's a few reasons why Brawler is bad. One of them is it's bad in the Sap Seraph, and the other one is that we're relatively weak for the first combat here. But the good part of Brawler is that it's fun, and it's exciting, and I look forward to playing it. It's... I, I do sometimes feel... Uh, I, I feel like we have ebbs and flows with this game. Where it's like, we go through a little period of time where we have a few really cool, really fun runs, and then we go through a period of time where we have a bunch of, like, ah, whatever, boring runs. This is the sort of run that I think is cool and fun. I like this run. I look forward to our chance to play this run. Sometimes, it's like, as time goes on, we run out of memorable runs to have, unfortunately. Although I do still remember that Thorned Hollow run. That was a good one. That was a banger. Doesn't matter. The best thing for me to do here is horn break the boss. It does not matter too much. I might take damage from the boss here, so it actually it actually does matter. Min maxing my health is important here, yeah, because we only hit once. His armor dips. Yeah. I should have played it the what I should have done instead of horn breaking the boss is I should have played Train Steward in front of Prince. That was a mistake. That's okay. That's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I didn't need that health. It was... It's just pain is weakness leaving the body. Real shame that I didn't see Ritual of Battle here. I was putting a lot on seeing Ritual of Battle as I, as I look at it now. Kind of really needed to see a Ritual of Battle here. I guess Rage Imp works. I'll try it. Hey, Razor Sharp Edge. Channel Song is... weird. If I, I would actually pick Channel Song if this were post DLC Monster Train, I would try it out because of the days on top floor. 
but with the days on top four being in the game, I will not be taking it. Large stone. I would like to see Hus Kermit. Shattered Shell. Sure. I do need a frontline for this run as well. I need a frontliner. Hus Kermit was probably my best get. But, like, if I large stone Shattered Shell, it's fine. I think it's okay. It uses my money. Gives us something for the next few combats, because we are we're a little a little low on the health front. A little. I do want these spikes. 3, 6, 9, 12. It adds what? I shouldn't. If it were... Yeah, I just think I shouldn't. Uh, maybe as a different, uh, a different combat I could get away with it, or maybe against a different boss, which I guess implies a different combat, but as it sits, it's a nah for me. It's just gonna push, it pushed 24 extra damage onto our Shattered Shell, which is a lot, especially since he has to do most of the lifting here. Letting him get all the slays, it's probably good. 16, 14 does not make a difference, okay. I I told you I did not think Brawler was going to look great here. Brawler does not look great here. But despite that, I believe we're going to click on Ritual of Battle here. I feel it. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we're talking. Wildwood Sap is an interesting one. I could also take Sharpen, and then we could just try to pick up... Uh, we could hope to see Wrathful. If I take Sharpen and hope to see Wrathful, it can be fine. I just, I don't, I think we're going to end up playing towards armor. I'm going to try Sharpen here. If we see Wrathful, it's really strong now. We go Brawler, probably Brawler 2, Wrathful 1 is fine. Sharpen him up and he just goes insane. I'm going to go, I'm going right here for the Pyre health. The artifact is nice as well. Impsicle. Sure. I'll give it a shot, why not? I think it's good. It just it definitely taking energy here with Impsicle. Uh I guess I take none of these are that good. I think I just take Stygian. I don't think I'm going to pick a card they show me in Stygian, but I'm, I'm not picking anything here, I don't think. Uh oh, Horror Frost Effigy. Hoo hoo buddy. Now if you wanna talk about a good pickup here. Ooh, man. What is the Horfrost Effigy? Like, what's going on in this? Oh, it's a granite monument of the Titan dotting the sea that is frozen in place. There you go, you know? that You can just read the lore. Crazy. I'll take Ice Empire, I guess. I said I was probably not taking anything, but Ice Empire is a good card. It's hard to pass one energy deal 90. That is... good. It's only ever bad on the first two turns. After the first two turns, there's almost always going to be an enemy top floor. And sometimes it's even fine here. I'm going to do this. This might be wrong. However. I think that now I just try to pick up... Like, I passed the Welder Helper earlier in the run, and I think I'm regretting that now. Now that I get a look at this run, I think I'm regretting no Welder Helper. Oh yeah, that's also plus four attack, which actually does make a difference here. That's interesting. He does not get the slight credit. I knew he wouldn't get the slight credit, but I still want to, like, acknowledge that as something. Because I thought it might be a possibility that I would get the slight trigger on Shattered Shell for playing Restoration Detonation. I didn't think it was likely, but I thought it might be the case. It is not the case, in case you're wondering. I do... so this is plus 30. I think it's a little better to play Restoration Detonation here and heal our boy and just play other spells. I think this is a little better. A lot of the damage on this combat to Daedalus is going to come from our Shattered Shell. 
going on here? Oh, they die from hitting him. I was like, why? It took me a second to parse that one. Do not play impressive. Do not play impressive. This, this is definitely a run where energy is good. Energy is good here because you, you can feel that energy is good because I'm having a lot of turns where I'm not playing all of the cards that I would want to play. Dato is almost asking. Will I take Transcendent if they show it here? I'll answer that question when I'm showing Transcendent. Goodbye, Daedalus. So long. If you showed me Transcendent, we'll talk. You did not show me Transcendent, Monster Train. Good choice. Uh, spreading Spores is interesting. Probably not worth. One Horns. I, I could take One Horns. It's scary without any upfront armor generation. And it's also really bad if I don't see... Yeah, I think it's bad. You know, it's probably not bad. It's really close, right? If I don't see Wrathful, I think it can be bad. Mm. I'm gonna skip it. Now, I am pretty sure I'm skipping a unit here, and we're just gonna let Prince plus Imstical handle it. I would probably have taken Railbeater in a different life, but not today. I'm going, because of Imstical, I'm going the other path here. Where I just let the Imps do all of the work. And we just kinda see where we end up. And I did see Wrathful. It's a lot easier now. I think that given the circumstance, I duplicate Sharpen. And we follow the Angry Prince line. It's a good line. I, I, feel, I feel pretty confident in our ability to win this one. Doubling Sharpen might have been wrong. I think about it a little longer and it might have been wrong. The weird- the other weird thing is that I- it's not that weird, I guess. I just have to torch my imps now. That isn't really that weird. Oh yeah, I took the trial. Good thing I looked at that. Important to scale Shattered Shell so he actually kills things. Yeah, this isn't that weird. It is a little weird that I duplicated the... Sharpen it to energy. A little awkward. This deck's super expensive. Yeah, like, ridiculously expensive. I need to just see some magic shops and cost down things. Prince does scale at a pretty accelerated rate, though. I'm feeling pretty good about that. This, is, this isn't the full brawler wipe entire floors run I dreamt of, but... It's good enough, I guess. He's only gaining 4. Oh, because he only has 10 armor. It's only 10 armor gain. That makes sense, yep. I also think that Shattered Shell is now hurting my run. Hmm. Because the backline dies. He's good on this combat because of the armor, right? But... Huh. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna not play Shattered Shell moving forward. Because I need the I need the backline to die to Prince. Crazy. Can he just solo this run now? Do I just not need any units? I'm I'm trying to point out times where things like this happen, right? Where Shattered Shell is now obsolete and I can solo this run with just Prince, but in uh in the early game I would have died. This is a lesson that I need to be continuously telling myself, because eventually I will lock it in, I hope. I think that I get worse at this game as I play it longer, if I'm honest with you. Infinite Box, this is probably a, a skip draw run. It's like Custodian. Should have a place for him. Uh, sit forward here as well. I'm always a little worried about the sound quality of these episodes. I think generally they've been pretty fine. But I'm still a little concerned. Uh, cost down sharpen. A plus 10 onto impressive is good. Let's me do 100 to any target. Removals are also pretty high value. 
I'm gonna make one of these sharpens free. I think purging train stewards and then after that it's a little more uncertain. Like the torches are actually good for killing imps, so I'll leave it at this and we can deal with removing more cards later. Uh, I would like Imp in a Box or Rage Serum. Yeah, those are both fine. Sorry, big yawn. Uh, Space Prism is fine. Prismal Dust is not good. Prismal Dust is bad, and then Hollow Drippings is worthless, but we got 20 gold. Nice. Rage Serum and 20 gold. Pretty good. I haven't seen the Bone Dog event in a while. I also haven't seen Dante in a while. You may remember that period of time where we saw Dante every run. I miss him. I clicked on Multi Strike here because the Multi Strike does not add damage to the Marksman. Because Prince kills them with one round of spikes. Shadow Shell is not long for this world though. I think that I was wrong to play Shattered Shell. Now that's an interesting one. I mean, with Impsicle we can delay, but it might have been wrong. We should have torched that guy, I guess. Like, it's neutral for Prince to be hit by these enemies. He takes nothing. He just gains a bunch of rage. It's in my imp box. Lots of rage. Frankly, too much rage. I need one of those armors down. You can see though we have a problem with killing our imps, so it is good to pick up imp related things. Minus two. Is there a way that Prince kills this whole floor? I think not quite. Right, you kill it's uh one, two there's no way. I'm I'm like rough outline here, not a chance. He'll he'll get two kills, this one's neutral. That's okay. I don't really want to play anything else here. I suppose I will, just for fun. And also it's worth playing the five damage. We might make it to a point where we're Prince, like maybe that makes a difference. I'm not sure. Probably not, but you never know. I, I should have, uh, I should have played that Rage in bottom floor. I need to buy time now by killing, I have to kill time with Crystal Cloak with imps now. Significantly easier with that molting imp there. I think it is okay. I hope it is okay. One, two. I could alternatively, instead of one turn, I could get 100 damage here. I think that one turn is worth more. One turn is worth about three times as much, actually. Huh. I'm dying. Right now, I think I am losing this combat. Five, am I? I am, right? I am. 110, huh? Now that's a little awkward. Need to ping one of you to get one more round in, maybe? 475, okay, much better. I uh, I missed like one imp and I take 13 for it. I, I could have been slightly more efficient and I would have gotten one more round, which would have made a difference. Oh, Railhammer is just a free win. Nice. I'm glad I took that trial. Wow. We have Resonant Shard and Rail Hammer. Am I gonna take in Flame? <laughs> it's too expensive. There's no way. I'm just going to take the Imp. But like, if there were ever a time. Invigorating Solution is fine. And removals are weird, but I will take them. I don't want to duplicate anything, so I'll just take the removals. I have the horn breaks. I can reasonably remove Shattered Shell. I think that he is done. And I think after that, it's just a torch. I probably end up removing this ritual as well. This run didn't go ritual of battle's way. It happens like that sometimes. I picked it and the run just didn't end up needing it. We got Wrathful. Without Wrathful, I would have needed it. Take out Torch as well. We're pretty strong. Uh, this combat will be the decider for sure. 
Although, last combat looked a little worse than it actually was because of the... The trial. The damage output was higher than you would expect. I don't want to play on the short floor. Also, we got Railhammer. Don't forget that as well. And we want to be making space for sure. Yeah. I... I killed off the first round just to draw into Sharpen quicker. Now that I have drawn into Sharpen, I will let these enemies go. And we'll take our armor. Ah, no imps today. Actually, no, I can play imps here. No, I cannot play imps here. These guys have five health. Don't do it to myself. I almost did it to myself. I'm like, I'm... I'm... Right on the verge of being too tired to make a coherent episode. This episode is pretty, pretty close to being incoherent, but we're right, we're teetering right on the brink here. This is 100% space. No doubt in my mind I take space here. Yeah, 26 armor, we're, we're scaling fine now. I suppose I'll take this 90 damage into Arcus. Especially with this Wildwood Custodian, it's nice to be able to have Wildwood Custodian, I guess. It's plus one draw for you. We draw pretty well. No Incant here is very nice. I don't even, I don't think that Incant is particularly bad, it's just annoying. I don't want to have to, <laughs> god. I don't want to have to think about it not playing spells, that's hard. I want to just have my units uh, exist and then I kill them in front of the curse shards. This run, like this Imsicle, has generated an unbelievable amount of rage imps. Like an actually incomprehensible amount of rage imps have been created. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Playing Pyro Chomper there is fine. He's got a lot of armor. It's like enough, right? 111 damage is a little scary. I think we're pretty comfortable here, though. This is definitely space, though. More space for more imps is good. Because we just want to focus them in the Prince and let him answer everything. So now will I take one horns? Nah, I'm gonna click on Rage Adapted Mutation here, but thank you for the offer. I respect your offer of one horns tome. I'm gonna take Adapted Mutation. It's not even necessarily that good, but I want it. So we're gonna do it. Relic, good. Spikes for more damage for stack is actually a really, really strong pickup here. It means that one sharpen kills the 15 fives on Sarah, and that's important. Hmm... Probably not any of these. It's not the Seraph fight where we take Ember Stasis. Even here, I don't know if I would take Ember Stasis. No unit I care to put an upgrade on in this deck. Now, this question is actually difficult. This is this is the, the real question mark of this run. The only thing I need to think about, Brawler 2 or Wrathful 2 in this run. Do I want... 15 times 3, or do I want more rage and more armor? I think I want more rage and more armor. I think all we care about is survivability, and he scales well enough otherwise. This run ended up just being like a normal-ass run. I don't mind, though. I'm not gonna take armor trial here. This is a pretty normal uh, line with Prince in a run, like, or in a Awoken secondary sort of setup. This run is also really fast. Like, really, really fast. I'm... I don't even... I don't feel like I'm playing all that quickly. It's just that the run plays itself, mostly. He has no rage yet. I... When you have single unit runs like this, there's not a whole lot of thinking that is uh, necessary, I would say. What do you got for me? Rage Serum? Fine with me. I do want Prince killing you. I accidentally drew 10 cards, which I now realize I do not want to do because I lose an imp. Drawing 10 cards is bad. 
keep that in mind. The pyro wings are like free imp cleanup for you. Look at all these rage imps. I feel like there was something I was thinking about with Rage Imp, but I don't remember what it was. So it couldn't have been that important, right? This is that, uh, that scene from How I Met Your Mother. You know the, you know the one I'm about to reference? If you forgot it, then it couldn't have been that important, and then it's just our kids standing out in the rain. That's a good one. I've never seen that show, actually. Any, uh, any of you guys big How I Met Your Mother fans? That's, that's the wrong show. It's uh, Two and a Half Men, also. I really haven't seen that one. My mistake. Two and a Half Men. Uh, wow, 32 damage here. Any, uh, any Two and a Half Men or How I Met Your Mother fans that are extremely angry at me for that mistake? Because, uh, fair. I damage number go down? How can this be good? Our, our brain no understand. Damage number low or bad? Me hit. Yeah, I feel pretty good here. If we do get super focused sap from Seraph, but I don't think it matters. I think we are... Cruising on through to our victory screen here. Our number one victory royale, if you will. I'm thinking. I shouldn't think. I don't need to. Oh, here I go thinking again. And none of these cards feel that important to remove. I'm gonna toss out Ice Empire because it is not a useful card. Oh, and Restoration Detonation should go. That card is worthless. Hold over. On what? Sharpen? Sure. Uh, maybe. It might be fine. We might get so enough spikes to have a meaningful impact, actually. Zap tap worthless, channel heart absolutely worthless, precious plating do not need, I'm not going to pay money to reroll that. I'm going to duplicate the adaptive after I upgrade it. Probably just two minus ones. Maybe one and then hold over. I'm gonna try hold over sharpen, why not? It's something. Could double stack it, but that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Alright. Duplicate this bad boy. Take me away, Sarah. Take me away. wonder what the fastest Covenant 25 run on record is. It's probably somewhere around 10 minutes, if I were to guess. If you're really pumping out and speeding the time along, you could probably get a pretty quick run then. My fastest run is like 23 or 22 minutes. I do also, like, I hinder my run speed by spending time on the start screen, talking in the intros. Playing Molting Imp is bad. Oh, it is important for me to have gone Wrathful because he needs to be neutral against Shade Wings. It's important, actually. I'm gonna do this. He, since he's neutral against Shade Wings, it is fine for me to kill them as well. Oh no, it's actually plus four, so I am minus four for killing those enemies. This is a lot of thinking for a run with double adaptive mutation rage prince, to be honest with you. All that really matters is we kill double heavies, which we're going to speed up to pretty quickly here. And the spikes are scaling. I don't think this is a bad one for double heavies either. I think this combat's pretty forgiving. Maybe it is bad, actually. This is way for No, this combat is bad. I think it's just Patient Seraph that's forgiving on double heavies. Although I would argue these Dark Wings are relatively forgiving in terms of heavies. Yeah, sure. I should impressive. He's up to 40 damage on spikes already. It is actually a meaningful amount of spikes. With the, with the Relic, it's a meaningful amount of spikes. I think without the Relic, it's a lot less uh, good. 
But yeah, we're we're far far beyond this run. I do. I'm, I'm just thinking about uh that sitcom that I got wrong. Uh, Charlie Sheen. You guys, that, not that's not the sitcom. That's um, the guy in the sitcom. I can't stop thinking about Charlie Sheen right now. I wonder what he's up to. I I feel like Charlie Sheen is someone who had his like he had his moment back in like 2012. Charlie Sheen popped off for a minute with that interview. I'm not bipolar. I'm bi winning. My man was everywhere. And now he is not someone that we think about very often. Yeah. I think that'll do right there. And then every now and then I just I, I have a moment of my mind my mind links it all together and I go, huh. Charlie Sheen. What's he up to right now? I wonder. I'm not a- I'm not in- like, I don't watch a whole lot of stuff. 96 on the spikes damage, by the way. I don't watch a whole lot of content like that. I don't watch, like, sitcoms that much anymore. I don't watch movies, so I don't- I don't know what he's up to, and I would not know what he's up to. But I feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about Charlie Sheen other than me in, like, years. I haven't heard references to it either. Oh, Charlie Sheen, if you're watching this video, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a special, a special end of episode shout out. Charlie Sheen, what's up? You want to learn Monster Train? Hit me up. I'll, uh, I'll teach you. It's not a hard game. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.